picture life in sun-drenched Naples, historic streets, legendary food, the sparkling sea. But just beneath this beauty, a monster stirs, a supervolcano, Campi Flegre. For millions here, this isn't myth, it's daily reality. The ground shakes more often, the land rises, and volcanic gases seep into the air. Recent months have brought earthquakes not felt in decades, cracking buildings and rattling nerves. These aren't random tremors. They're signs of a restless volcanic system awakening after centuries. The threat is immediate and real. If Campi Flegre erupts, it won't be a single event. It would be a catastrophe on a scale rarely seen. Pyroclastic flows could incinerate everything. Ash would darken the sky, and Naples could face utter devastation. The local danger is immense, but the global impact could be just as profound. Campi Flegre, burning field, is a story of hidden power and human vulnerability. The signs are growing louder, the giant is stirring, and the world must pay attention. The burning fields are getting hotter. Campi Flegre isn't a classic volcano, it's a vast caldera, a giant depression stretching nine miles across, just west of Naples. Much of it lies underwater, but towns and suburbs sprawl across its land. Here, people live, work, and go to school inside the crater of a supervolcano. Unlike a single vent, Campi Flegre's eruptions can span a wide area, powered by a massive underground magma chamber. When pressure builds, the chamber's roof can collapse, triggering a cataclysmic eruption. The caldera is the scar of such an ancient event. Supervolcanoes like this can eject enough material to blanket continents in ash. Campi Flegre is one of the world's most dangerous, not just for its power, but because millions live atop it. The landscape is dotted with steaming fumaroles and hot springs, a beautiful but ominous reminder of the energy below. For residents, life here means living on the edge of one of Earth's most volatile giants. Campi Flegre's history is marked by colossal eruptions. 40,000 years ago, the Campanian Ignimbrite eruption created the caldera, blasting ash across Europe and plunging the world into a volcanic winter. Some scientists believe this event helped drive Neanderthals to extinction. Earlier, the Madaloni eruption, over 100,000 years ago, showed the volcano's capacity for repeated super-colossal blasts. 15,000 years ago, the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption reshaped the local landscape. The last eruption in 1538 was small but dramatic, creating Monte Nuovo. Centuries of quiet since then are just a pause in a violent history. Campi Flegre isn't extinct, it's only sleeping. The real question is not if it will erupt again, but when and how big it will be. The ground in Campi Flegre is restless. Thousands of earthquakes have shaken the region in recent months, culminating in the strongest quake in 40 years. The land around Pozzuoli is rising, Bradyseism, driven by magma and gas accumulating below. Since 2005, the ground has lifted by several feet, often in sudden bursts. Volcanic gas emissions have surged, with thousands of tons of carbon dioxide released daily. These are not isolated events, they're symptoms of a system under pressure. Campi Flegre is entering a new, more dangerous phase. Scientists worldwide are watching Campi Flegre with growing concern. Persistent earthquakes, accelerating uplift and high gas emissions all point to a volcano under extreme stress. The caldera's crust is weakening, stretched thin by years of rising and shaking. Experts warn the system is progressing toward rupture. Italy's alert level has been at yellow, heightened attention, since 2012. Some scientists argue it may soon need to be raised to orange, signalling a high probability of eruption. The challenge volcanoes are unpredictable. The magma system is vast and complex. An eruption could break out in unexpected places. Emergency planning is difficult, but the risk is real and growing. The science is clear. Campi Flegre demands our full attention. The next move could change everything for Naples and beyond. A major eruption at Campi Flegre would be apocalyptic. Pyroclastic flows would obliterate Naples and nearby towns in minutes. Ash would blanket the region, collapsing roofs, poisoning air and water and crippling infrastructure. 
Millions would face chaos and evacuation if there's even time. The ash cloud would spread across Europe, grounding flights for months and disrupting economies. Farmland would be contaminated, water sources polluted, and food supplies threatened. On a global scale, sulfur gases would trigger a volcanic winter, dropping temperatures and causing crop failures. Famine and political instability could follow. One eruption in Italy could hold the world hostage, revealing how fragile our civilization truly is. The stakes are nothing less than global. Over two million people live in Campi Flegre's danger zones. The red zone alone holds half a million at highest risk from pyroclastic flows. Italy's evacuation plan calls for moving everyone in 72 hours after a warning. But the reality? Gridlocked roads, overwhelmed transit and panic could make orderly evacuation impossible. Volcanoes don't always give clear warnings. An eruption could come with little notice, trapping thousands. Even a partial evacuation would create a massive humanitarian crisis. Where would millions go? How would they be cared for? Host regions would be strained, and the social and economic fallout could last for decades. The challenge isn't just moving people, it's the permanent displacement of entire communities. Naples lives on the edge, facing a dilemma with no easy answers. Italy is racing to prepare for the worst. The Vesuvius Observatory runs a world-class monitoring network, seismometers, GPS, gas sensors, tracking every tremor and breath of the volcano. Real-time data helps update alert levels and inform evacuation decisions. Authorities have updated emergency plans, mapped escape routes, and run evacuation drills. Structural assessments of schools and hospitals are underway. Yet, the scale of the threat is daunting, and public complacency is a real risk. The hope is that these preparations are never needed. But the clock is ticking, and the volcano waits for no one. We've explored the burning fields and the threat beneath Naples. The people here live on a geological marvel and a ticking time bomb. Would you leave your home, your history, your community, based on warnings of a disaster that may never come? For many, the volcano is background noise compared to daily life. But what happens when that noise becomes a roar? Campi Flegre's story is a dramatic reminder of our vulnerability and the risks we accept for the places we call home. So, if this were your city, would you stay or would you go? The answer is as complex as the volcano itself.